Alright guys, uh, I just wanted to show a quick video. These are the new Headplay HDs. Got these from Range Video. Uh, so I've been testing them out with different cameras and I really like the CC1526 from Surveil Zone. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you uh, first off the Headplays. They're very sweet. Come with everything you need for 1.3. Uh, picture is sharp and uh, the goggles are really clean. Uh, really lightweight on your head, strap feels comfortable, everybody has uh, really enjoyed them. So um, so this is actually using the GoPro Hero 4 Silver. Um, again, the picture looks nice, but um, you can see that the GoPro overlays all that other OSD on top of the Vector OSD, and it uh, can be pretty distracting and obnoxious. So um, I see a lot of people still use the GoPro, and I was all about the GoPro when I first started FPV, and I have since moved to... Um, surveil zone cameras, those cheaper CMOS cameras, and they're they're really great. So I'm going to go ahead and actually switch to the $60 CC1526 and show you the picture from that. So give me one moment. All right, so I've gone ahead and switched the cameras. So before was the Hero 4 Silver, and this is the CC1526. Um, you can obviously see it's already full screen, um, so it just looks way bigger. You get to utilize the full screen of the head plays. Uh, there's no OSD on there, so you get to read the vector OSD with zero distractions. Um, and it's just sharper. It just looks way, way better. Uh, do a little pan here. It is really good. Now, although this camera does have some uh, lag to it, the camera is really great for, you know, long-range FPV or altitude stuff where you don't have to worry about lag as much. So, anyways, guys, just wanted to demonstrate the head plays and uh, definitely a good camera to use um, if you're doing long-range, like I said. So, see if you can see. I'll show you guys more picture. It's hard to tell because the nose piece is in the way, but it really, when it's on your face, you just see all screen. It's really nice. A lot of people just uh, complain that there's too much to look at, and you can always drop it down to 4.3. Um, in fact, I can go ahead and do that now. Um, it's right there. Scale. Okay, so it changes it down to 4.3, and so it cuts off a little bit on the side, so the picture isn't as much to look at. Um, again, you can see the difference. Move the menu screen. So, definitely see a lot more condensed. But yeah, those are the head plays. Image is just shoot super sharp. The battery lasts some about an hour, but um, I just went ahead and uh, changed the clip on the cord or the the cable, so now it accepts all my little two cell batteries. So. Alright guys, that's pretty much what I wanted to share. These have been the review of the Headplay HDs, and if you don't have them, go get them. They are filthy. Alright guys, we'll see ya.